you're welcome in today's video i'll be showing you how i made this lovely fish pie from a to z so stick to this video to the end and don't forget to like the video if you're new to my channel you're welcome so feel free to be a part by only subscribing and also liking this video to be getting a lot of our new video let's start I'll be using this beautiful fish so feel free to use fresh fish canned fish of your choice spice it the way you want add pepper salt thyme um, no cube or any cube of your choice you add your onion you just spice it the way you want the way you spice your meat and you add water to it and start cooking cook for a little while at least up to five minutes when the fish is soft you can remove in a neat bowl add your 500 grams of flour one teaspoon of baking powder half teaspoon of salt and 200 grams of cold butter yes you can use cold margarine for this wash your hand very well and you incorporate everything very very neatly till you have a breadcrumbs texture take your time to do this because the butter is very cold so you have to take time and achieve this look at that add in your one egg you can remain a little for your egg wash you go in with your cold milk this is cold milk if you don't want to use cold milk feel free to use your cold water but very important it has to be very very cold yes so I'm using cold milk. If you're making this, you can, if you don't have milk in the house, feel free to use cold water. Why there is no measurement for this is because sometimes some flour accept more liquid, some don't accept. So you just need to add little at a time to have a very lovely dough like this. Look at that beautiful dough. You now allow it to rest you don't need to stretch this dough a lot stress it a lot look our fish is ready i'll have to remove it this time around it's time to debone the fish take out all the bones be very careful you can wash your hand and go in with your hand to be sure the fish is safe for consumption i'll be using green peas carrot, onion, and a little corn flour. That's a tablespoon of corn flour for this filling. Mash your fish when you have already deboned it, and that's all. Okay, in a pot, add little vegetable oil. Go in with your onion salt. Please feel free to spice the way you want here, but I'm not adding much spices, just the salt, the seasoning cube, and I will go in with the rest of the veggies that I have already pre-cut. So take your time to do this. Add the veggies. Mix everything thoroughly. Please test. If you're not okay, feel free to add pepper, salt, any seasoning of your choice. Feel free to add. So I'm adding just one seasoning cube to every to this filling and a little pepper. Very important. Pepper is also optional. It's not a must though because here the weather is so cold so I don't joke with it so I didn't add much because of my daughter so test if you're okay fine if you're not okay you add more spices but I'm okay I'll go in with my mashed fish 
Master everything gently and you dissolve your cornstarch with water and go in. Cornstarch is a binder. It's not a must. If you don't have cornstarch, you can use corn flour. If you don't have both, feel free to use your filling that way. But I just feel like adding cornstarch because it's available. It's a binder and it helps a whole lot. Look at the filling. Looking so good already. But I'll still lastly go in with the co dissolved cornstarch to bind the filling. That is it. So right now I'm okay. For the fish pie dough, this is our filling. This our uh, egg wash. I'll be using a beautiful cutter I ordered from Amazon. It's so lovely. You can order yours or you can give it to yours with your normal pizza cutter. But I love the design, so I felt like using it today. Like I said, you don't need to stress your fish pie dough. You only have to allow it to rest. You can see it's already relaxed very it has already relaxed very very well so use your cutter and you cut it out the only thing i noticed about this cutter that is pretty small and it needs a lot of time patience for you to achieve this work at the point i wanted to use another cutter but i told myself i have to do this it's all about patience so take your time after cutting it out this way you can use your rolling pin roll it out a little to have a bigger shape before you use your egg wash on one and you add your filling roll it out use your egg wash on the body add your filling on the center mm -hmm. yes and you place the second one at the top use your hand to be sure everything is well lapped before you go in with the cutter because the cutter is going to cut the edges again because we rolled it out for more increase so remove the little edges remaining and also close it for us you can see that the second cutter close you see very okay and fine so that's all we want so i'll continue this way till i have all done if you're new to this channel this is your first time of watching my video you're welcome to progressive recipes i cook i bake i decorate cakes i do so many pastries i know you will love so feel free to explore my videos i have more than 500 videos for you and i know you're gonna learn a lot when you explore all feel free to be a part of this channel if you're new just by clicking on that subscribe button click on the notification bell to be getting alerts of my new video whenever i post new video you will get an alert to my old subscribers i love you so much thanks a million for tuning back today to watch this video i appreciate all your effort in making this channel to keep growing so this time around i'm super excited you can see the art come i have to work with patient because like i said before this particular cutter is a very small cutter you only need patient to go through so the second time i rolled out again repeated the same thing again so feel free one thing about pastries is that you are the curator of your own pastry you might not like the design you're seeing online you can feel free to curate what you love you can do it hand free you can also do it with the, there are a lot of cutters and modes out there so feel free to explore anyone you love so i'll go in with the egg wash look at how beautiful the pies are looking i'll go in with the fork 
just to create space so that when it's rising a little it will not open the edges that's why i'm doing this when i do my meat pie i don't do it because i'm so relaxed but due to the cutter gave me a little hard time <laughs> so i don't want chances whereby the edges will be open straight to the oven after 20 to 30 minutes my fish pies we are ready look at the beauty <laughs> isn't this beautiful please don't forget to like this video give me thumbs up comment and feel free to ask questions look at that and if you have not subscribed feel free to join this lovely channel and i'll show you feel free to share to your friends and family join me on facebook at progressive recipe share your work with me the same thing on instagram at progressive recipes thanks for watching bye